With the foretold seven-year tribulation being alarmingly ready to begin, as overwhelmingly shown at heisnear.com, that means the abomination of desolation could conceivably be as close as about three and a half years away. The reality and magnitude of this is illuminated in key Bible prophecies and also precisely matched in one of Pope Francis's public actions in Israel recently, which I'll address in a moment. But concerning Bible prophecies, in Matthew chapter 24, verse 2, Jesus prophesied that Jerusalem's second temple would be completely destroyed, which occurred about 40 years later in 70 AD, and leaving Israel without a temple for the last 2,000 years. Then in Matthew chapter 24, verse 15, the Lord foretold that right before the future third temple would be built, then Antichrist himself would be seen in the end times, standing in the holy place, meaning physically standing on the Temple Mount, where the previous second temple stood, and where the third temple itself would be suddenly built. Jesus saying that Antichrist would be seen, quote, standing in the holy place, end quote, clearly differentiates from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4's prophecy, identifying Antichrist as later being seated inside the built temple itself at the mid-seven-year point. And as I mentioned up front, Matthew 24:15's key prophecy was just visibly witnessed in Israel in real time on May 26, 2014, when Pope Francis, Antichrist, physically stood on Jerusalem's Temple Mount in the global spotlight. This is a huge confirmation of how stunningly close the start of tribulation is and of the abomination of desolation to take place three and a half years later. Also, since every elected pope is virtually Antichrist, then Pope John Paul II and Benedict XVI's visits to the Temple Mount in 2000 and 2009 were preliminary signs pointing to the final pope who would also stand on the Temple Mount, as Francis just did, and also be the actual pope to execute Daniel 9.27's major prophecy of signing a seven-year agreement with Israel. And, in fact, this is exactly what Pope Francis is engaged in right now with the next official meeting between the Vatican and Israel, scheduled for this month of June 2014, in a final effort to sign the historic Fundamental Agreement contract. And added to this apex is the recently created meeting by Pope Francis, also taking place this Sunday, June 8th, at the Vatican, with Israel's Shimon Peres and Mahmoud Abbas for the very purpose of bringing about Mideast peace. In a word, all of these prophetic signs are screaming to this generation of the nearing start of the seven-year tribulation, the building of the third temple, and then the darkest hour of history at the mid-seven-year point, when the foretold abomination of desolation will be carried out by Antichrist, the Pope of Rome.